Hi, I'm Carla Alexander, author of the quilt pattern, The Blue Onion. There are two different ways to cut the curves for this design. Use my ovals always ruler or cut freeform. So today I'm gonna to show you how to cut using my ruler, ovals always. First, you want to clip the upper right hand corner by about a half of an inch. This will help keep your stack in the correct position. Okay, so the ruler has three different placement lines, A, B, and C. For this project, we're going to be using the B placement line. So I like to put a little post-it note right there in the corner, and that helps me with the placement a little bit. Okay, so now we're ready to make the first cut, and this stack of fabric is right side up, and I'm going to place this in the lower left-hand corner, and I'm gonna cut on B4. B4, crunch down, swing your elbow out as you cut and walk your hand until you get right to the end. Take the ruler off and now you can label this piece as B4. I'm gonna set it up here aside. Okay, now I'm gonna take this stack and flip it upside down and make sure that this clipped edge right here is in the upper right hand corner always. And now I'm going to remove a half of an inch off of the left side and the bottom. And if I just use the ruler, it has a half inch grid on the ruler and I can just easily put it right here like this. And I'm gonna remove a half of an inch from that side and one from the bottom. Okay. So now my stack is right side down, RSD, and I'm going to make the next cut, which is B five and a half. So I'm gonna follow the B line and align it with those outer edges right up here at the B 5.5, right here. Crunch down, kind of swing your elbow out and follow the curve, all right? And now I'm gonna turn this right side up again and I'll set it over here with my other piece. Okay, now I'm ready to move on to the next cut, which is number three. So now I'm going to flip the stack right side up and make sure that the corner that's clipped is in the upper right hand corner. Now this is right side up. And now I'm going to, once again, remove a half of the inch off the left side and the bottom. And that's gonna happen after every curved cut. So we have a left side cut and a bottom. And then we can go ahead with the curved cut. And this cut is, I believe, B7. So B, we're gonna line up the B. So here we are at B7. I'm gonna crunch down. And I like to press right on the little rib of the ruler and walk. Okay, so that one is B7. And I'm gonna keep it right over here. And because I just cut an arc, now I'm gonna flip it upside down. Again, keeping the corner right here. And now I have to remove the half inch from the left side and the bottom before I do my curved cut again. Okay. So the next cut is going to be on the B again, always staying on the B, right here lining it with the outer edges. And this last one is going to be 8.5. So let me get that aligned good there, and 8.5, and again, we have a, always a half inch, a little bit more than a half of an inch. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut 8.5. And I'll turn that right side up and set it back over here with the others. And after every curved cut, you always flip it right side up again and then remove a half inch 
on the left and the bottom. I like to keep those together so I don't get mixed up and if I keep them together, I can always make sure I don't double cut those. All right, so I'm gonna bring the other pieces back into view. And here we go. And they should kind of look like they won't fit like this. They should get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger along the outside edge. And here we go. So you have five pieces, one, two, three, four, five. Now at this point, you could really take them apart and mix them up however you want and arrange the pieces as you like. Maybe if there's a piece in there you don't like, you could use one of these as a template and recut it. Or you can shuffle like I do. Pick it up and you're gonna slide one off of the top and just put it right back on the bottom, okay? And then you're gonna select the next stack and you're gonna take two off and you're gonna put those on the bottom. And there's that second piece. And now we'll take three. Lay those down there. There we go. And four, one, two, three, and four. And lay those there. And five. So this piece you'll pick up and you'll take one, two, three, four, and five, and that will leave you with a different color in each segment. And the second block underneath that, one color will disappear and a new color will pop in. I'll show you what that's gonna look like. So you can see on the second block, you're not gonna have this brown in here, but you'll have the red in there. And so every block will have a different assortment. I hope this tutorial has helped with any ruler cutting questions you might have. The blocks are a lot of fun to make and the layout possibilities are endless. Join me next time when I show you how I sew the pieces together. Enjoy.